we're in the Boundary Waters of Northern Minnesota, and I'm going to show you 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 things you need to bring on a Boundary Waters trip. Let's do this. You want a wide brim hat, sunglasses, clothes that dry very quickly, camp shoes. You want a stove to cook your food. You want a rain fly to hang out on those rainy days, keep all of your gear dry. Also, you can use these rain tarps for a sail to sail with your canoes if you still want to do that. We do. You want a nice book to read. You really want a solid pair of portaging shoes or wet shoes. You're gonna be wet, you're gonna be going through steep trails. These babies are gonna keep your feet nice and protected. It's gonna keep your feet safer on the portage trail. You got some good grip, but you definitely need a pair of wet shoes and a pair of dry shoes. If you have an odd number of people, you want a duffer pad for that um, third person in your canoe they may be going across a lake that's several miles long and you want them to be comfortable. You want water bottles. You want carabiners. You want a soap kit for your dishes. Inside that soap kit, you want a sponge, hand sanitizer, bleach, Soap. We have a funnel for gas and for something. And we have a knife sharpener. You also definitely want to have coffee. You obviously want a canoe, but not every canoe is good for the boundary waters. You want a nice canoe that's lightweight, but sturdy. These are sundowners by the company Winona. Um, you have to have a yoke. A yoke is for portaging. If you don't have that, you cannot really do a portage in the boundary waters. You also want paddles. We go with wood paddles with bent shafts. These make paddling about 15 percent easier because they're bent you get a little extra push in the water
And that's most of our gear for our trip to the Boundary Waters. I think I left out our first aid kit, but we do have one. But the main thing is just be prepared and enjoy yourself.